Hi, and welcome to CSCMP's Member Mondays. I'm your host, Timothy Pajak, and I'm the Membership Engagement Manager here at CSCMP. We're pleased today to have Michael Walter, Sourcing Analyst for 3M, as our guest. Michael is a young professional member of CSCMP, serves on the Young Professionals Committee, and serves on the Twin Cities Roundtable Board. Michael, welcome. Hey, Tim. Appreciate you having me on and, and happy to be here. I want to start by hearing your story uh, of how you first got interested in supply chain and especially how you got interested in CSCMP. You studied supply chain management at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Uh, tell us about your experience. Yeah, no, great question. And um, when I first started at University of Wisconsin, I, I knew I wanted to be in, the, in a business field, but wasn't exactly sure uh, what I wanted to get into. Um, after my first operations class, I really um, appreciated the, the tangibility of, of supply chain as, the, as opposed to other, um, you know, fields of study within business. Um, really, when you're looking at it from, uh, you know, starting on the raw material and the procurement side all the way through, you know, through logistics flows and distribution, um, through supply management, inventory management, uh, you know, through the, the end of the product life cycle. So really, I, I just, you know, was gravitated towards, um, you know, more, more the tangibility of, of supply chain. Um, and, and where I've landed now and kind of uh, really gravitated towards in supply chain is, is sourcing and procurement um, in my current role at 3M. Um, you know, I, I, I really enjoy the, the supplier relationships and, and the, the building there in terms of collaboration between our suppliers and, and um, 3M. So, no, appreciate the question. And, and how did you first get introduced to uh, CSCMP then? Yeah, yeah. So I first got introduced to CSCMP about a, a year into my young professional career. Um, two of my fellow coworkers were were involved in in the Twin Cities Roundtable um, within CSCMP, and and was something that I thought I wanted to get involved in as well. Um, when I first joined CSCMP, it was right around the the same time as the onset of of COVID nineteen with with things going virtual. So um, by nature of that, I got uh, more involved on the, on the national level and. Really appreciated some of the the webinars and speakers series and, and panels that CSCMP had to offer. Um, really, from a, I think one thing I've really benefited from with CSCMP is is uh, you know learning about different areas of supply chain outside of of my functional role, um, and then also from a networking perspective, whether it's uh, you know uh, the mock interviews or or just uh, with coffee chat series or, or different ways to connect with supply chain professionals um, kind of across the realm. So. Uh, yeah, really appreciate it and, and enjoyed my time with CSCMP so far. Tell us a little bit about your role at 3M and some of the biggest challenges you might have there. Yeah, yeah. So in my role at 3M, I'm on our uh, United States and Canada uh, polymer sourcing team. So uh, within our organization, we're responsible for um, our supplier relationships that um, supply into uh, 3M manufacturing facilities. Um, in my specific role, I'm responsible for, for polyethylene, polypropylene um, films, uh, which go into a number of our manufacturing facilities. Uh, a, a lot of what our, our role entails is, is, number one, is supply continuity, really ensuring that, that we're able to um, keep a, a ample supply flow into our manufacturing facilities and, and in turn, um, you know, supply to our customers. Um, other activities that are, that are you know, um, top of mind in, in my role is, is cost management, ensuring that um, you know, we're educated on what's happening in, in the external markets and, and staying diligent on costs. Um, uh, others are, you know, collaboration with our suppliers in terms of the general relationship building, contracting, um, looking at, you know, our, our overall strategy within that category space, whether that be um, dual sourcing or regional sourcing and, and, and how that falls into, um, you know, the general footprint within 3M. What sort of uh, impact on the sourcing of the commodities that you focus on has the pandemic had? I mean, is there like a shortage of uh, uh, commodities that we use in 3M tape or, you know, any, something like that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's been a, a, a very serious impact uh, that we've experienced over the course of the last year, year and a half as, as you know, as a result initially of, of COVID and, and subsequent events. Um, I, I'd say, you know, generally in supply chain, we saw a drawback of inventory levels, you know, across industries as, as a way of, of companies managing, you know, probably their books initially on it in COVID. And, um, and following that was a, a significant demand um, upswing, uh, you know, a, a supply chain bullwhip effect, if you will, 
Um, you know, so so over the course of the last couple of months, we've seen a, a very tight supply chain, a um, supply demand imbalance, if you will. Um, and then coming into uh, early 2021 with with winter storm Uri in the Gulf, um, especially, I mean, that really significantly impacted the petrochemical industry. Um, and, you know, some of these manufacturers being down for significant time has is, is caused strains, you know, I think across supply chains, whether it be, um, you know, automotive builds or, or plastics or tapes or pretty much um, anything you can think of has been impacted. Um, so definitely, you know, a lot of impacts in, in the, on the supply base um, and also on pricing. There's been, um, you know, price increases in inflationary markets as a result of, of you know, COVID and, and winter storm Uri. Now, pivoting a little bit, um, you know, in your role as a uh, member of the committee, the YP committee, uh, what advice would you have for either students or new YP members of CSCMP, how they can maximize the uh, value of their membership? Yeah, for sure. And, and there's a there's a number of, you know, great benefits that, that come with being a member of, of CSCMP and especially a, a young professionals member. Um, you know, some of the some of the things that I've really found value in is is the networking opportunities, whether that be, you know, a coffee chat series or, or um, you know, speed networking events or, or events within your round table. Um, but also, I think the learning opportunities and the ability to um, learn about different areas of supply chain. So I, I would say, you know, biggest advice would be really taking advantage of that network. Um, there's a lot of people willing to help. Um, a lot of people willing to give their advice, share their share their experiences within supply chain, um, and and also you know help foster connections with with other folks within the industry. So speaking of connections, what's been the most impactful connection you've made? Yeah, you know I think it, it, it's hard to pinpoint one. Um, it, it, I would say um, as a member of the the Young Professionals Committee, I've been able to. Um, you know, partner with a group of 20, 25 young professionals um, in supply chain uh, across across industries, across business types, um, across the world, um, and it's it's a it's a great group. You know, we have meetings on a regular basis. It's it's a collaborative group. Um, we're always trying to enhance the um, the activities and and, and um, you know the events that CSCMP has to offer for for our YPs, um, and it's been a great way to connect and learn and have. Um, you know, collaborative discussions about about what uh, you know we're all seeing in the industry. All right, thank you so much for your time today, Michael. Uh, appreciate your membership and your your service with CSCMP. Uh, appreciate you joining us for this edition of Member Mondays. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate you having me.